Disney has developed a magical device to make your fingertips whisper and sing. And it's probably not as disgusting as it sounds. No, no, no Disney research. No! Um, yeah, don't do that again. The <laughs> Ishin Den Shin technology, or the, the Ishin Den Shin audio system is what I'm talking about. And it uses a standard microphone to record audio and then convert it to an inaudible signal transmitted through the body of the person holding the microphone. And then if you touch someone's ear, they would be able to hear it. So I would be holding a microphone. I can't hear the sound. I touch your ear. You can hear it. Singing fingertips. It's fucking weird, Disney. It's, yeah, it's that's... weird that they would put their research into that. When touching another person's ear, uh, the modulated electrostatic field creates a very small vibration on the earlobe. It turns your ear into a speaker. Well, pretty much together. Co the combination with our forces combined mm -hmm. is a speaker. The inaudible signal can be transmitted from body to body using any sort of physical contact, which makes me think this could get super weird like we thought before. Uh, any kind. It doesn't have to be your finger. Huh? Get it? Mm, no? I don't get it. You're a good kid. Uh, so the recorded sound can only be heard by the specific ear touch. You can hear it if you're touching the right, here, right ear only. It's kind of like you have an earbud and you stick it in someone's ear, but easier? Which and is something that needed to be done? They said it doesn't sound like it's like a speaker right in your ear, though. It sounds like it's coming from everywhere. nowhere and everywhere kind of thing. That's it's like in your be head. Cool. I would like to try that out, but not on camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, to quote Trevor Cox, professor of acoustic engineering at the University of Salford, I don't know quite what they're going to do with this. <laughs> Me neither, Trevor. <laughs> Dr. Cox. Well, they're just using bone conduction, which is something similar to what we've spoken about before, uh, transmitting sound through, the, through to the inner ear, uh, through bones of the skull. It's used in Google Glass, too. I mean, maybe it can be applied to something less totally weird, like Google Glass. Well, hopefully science gets less totally weird. Yeah. And outlaws wet willies. <laughs>